Great. All right. Well, welcome to the Zoning and Design Review Board meeting. Uh, it is June 9th, 2015. We are now calling this meeting to order. Uh, let's go ahead and start by doing roll call. Wonderful. Member James? Here. Member Laz? Here. Member Cook? Here. Vice Chair Scoggins? Here. Let the record show that everyone's here. Excellent. Next up, we will do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty. I guess the next item will be uh, the adoption of the agenda. Can I get? I'll move motion? to adopt the agenda. Second. Perfect. So moved. Favor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I forget that part. Great. Um, the next would be the approval of the minutes. No Seeing none, we will move on. The next uh, item up is uh, public comment. If there are any, uh, if there's anyone in the in the audience that would like to step up and make a comment that isn't relative to the the other items on the agenda, then feel free to do so now. Looks like there are no public comments. We'll close public comment. Next would be the uh, consent calendar, which, seeing no items, we'll move along to uh, number eight, the public hearing. Let's see here, public hearing. We will uh, start with line item uh, 15293, talent lane, five talent lane. All right. We'll let staff. Great. Um, this is a pretty straightforward application for you. Uh, last month, we approved the project for five talent lane, which is that new residence. Um, the board is now being asked to consider um, changing the language in one of the conditions of approval uh, the previously approved and we had a um, quite lengthy conversation about it last month as well the uh, approved condition uh, stated that the pool may not be constructed under the town of Yountville's drought restrictions are lifted um, but because construction of the pool will affect the foundation of the main building um, and in order to be more consistent with what uh, our drought restriction policies are um, we're requesting that the that the board is asked to alter the wording of the condition to read the town's phase one water emergency regulation encourages the limitation of the installation of new pools the pool shall include pool specific drainage facilities as applicable pool spa water shall be trucked in for the initial fill the town's domestic water system shall not be used to fill the pool um, town staff believes that this change in word in wording allows the development of the project to um, to go forth um, without any issues while also maintaining the spirit of our drought restriction policies so um, that concludes that report excellent is there any questions of staff yeah. no questions no. no questions great um, would the applicant like to uh, speak? The applicant this? isn't uh, present okay. since it's straightforward. But and is there any public, public comment around this line item? Excellent. Um, then I guess maybe we just expedite this and go to uh, making a motion. Before a motion is entertained, I might offer a comment, which I think it's approving this change in the conditions of approval for this project is the right thing, but I find the logic behind it faulty. The water's coming from somewhere. Yontville's not an isolated island that's the only one suffering from a water restriction, and I fail to see how having trucks deliver water is greener than having it brought from a nearby fire hydrant. So again, I think it's the right call for this project, that this project should not be penalized by what I think is a poorly crafted ordinance. But again, I think the logic is inherently flawed behind it. With that said, I'll be happy to support a motion approving the condition of approval. Can I get this? I'll second that with 100% agreement with what Jason had to say. It's a very odd solution in a drought to ask for somebody else's water, but I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
unanimously, unanimously passes. We'll move on to the next line item. Thank you. Um, board members, um, again, another repeat, a redo from last time. Uh, this project is at 1950 Yountville Crossroad, Glenbaki residence. And we had quite an extensive discussion, if you recall, last uh, week at, or last month at your meeting concerning the location of the guest house and the articulation of the front facing facade, street facing facade, should it be moved. And at that time, the board gave uh, the applicant some direction about uh, complying with the town's rules and regulations about the location of second units and requested that they come back with uh, whatever changes they wanted to make to the site plan. Uh, they have done that since last month. I, they've worked very hard. Um, I think the new um, design is superior to what uh, was proposed before. It actually moves the pool further away from the adjacent um, home. If you recall, we had a, a member of the public that was concerned about the pool in the backyard. Uh, so they've, they've uh, more or less done some good um, blocking of uh, any potential noise from that pool. Um, the new uh, front-facing facade of the street, I think, is, is quite nice. And actually, um, with the guest house removed um, from the front of the house, I think that the apparent massing um, along, as you're coming in from the uh, east on Yountville Crossroad is significantly reduced as a result of that, that move as well. So I think all in all, all the changes that are being <coughs> proposed um, are provide a superior project, and we're recommending approval this evening. Um, out on the dais, and I think we have the applicant here. Um, we received a letter today from the adjacent vineyard manager, um, just wanting to make sure that the applicant understood that they are moving next to a farming operation, and they wanted to make sure that the design review board also had that placed in the record, and um, that there are issues about being next to ag. There are one, lots of wonderful things about being next to ag, but there are some negatives, and they just wanted the applicant to be aware of that. So with that, that, that uh, public comment should be read into the record. They aren't going to be here this evening. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Great. Any questions of the staff? Do we waive the reading when we read Mr. Hoxie's letter into the record, or does someone need to read it? For I don't think it has to be read. I think that the fact that it's being entered into evidence um, just by that, uh, that being put into the record and the minutes will reflect it is, is fine. The summary sheet provided is sufficient. Great. No questions, it sounds like. Great. Um, would the applicant like to make any comments? Would there be any members of the public that would like to make a comment? With that being said, I think we'll close public comment. Um, would you like to start the discussion internally, Jason? I don't doubt the applicant left here discouraged and frustrated after the last hearing, but I commend him for not only acting quickly, but being very responsive. And uh, I think it's appreciated, and I think it improves the project. I hope you find it does as well but it kicks those legs of the stool out that are always difficult for us, which is to prove something that's not compliant. And it seems to be much easier to prove something that is so manifestly compliant in my view and a tremendous improvement. Yes, I agree. They did a beautiful job in turning it around and putting a beautiful front to the house to the street side. So I, I think it's beautiful. I agree. <laughs> I agree as well. Um, with that, can we entertain a motion to uh, approve? I will move to approve item 15-315 with the presented conditions of approval. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Your project has been Thank you. I have a question of staff that's precipitated by this application but wasn't pertinent to our action on it. 
in the county of Napa when one pulls a building permit for um, a dwelling adjacent to a residential area as a matter of policy the building permit applicant is required to sign an acknowledgement of Napa County's right to farm ordinance obviously this is a little different here because our agricultural land is so small and there are so few adjoining properties uh, but it might be something worth considering in the future um, that the town adopt as well that would be something to consider one of the differences is in the county there's an ag preserve whereas the town the zoning is just ag it's not ag preserve um, so there's subtle differences between the county's ag preserve and the town's agriculture zone but that's still a right to farm there is uh, that is something good to consider Next up would be the design review of modifications to the Stewart Cellars commercial project. Thank you, board members. Um, again, we have just a small group here. Um, in the interest of, of uh, time, I'm not going to go through uh, a huge staff report. Just suffice it to say that this project was approved by uh, both the Z ZDRB and the town council in uh, the summer of 2013. The applicant has already broken ground and done the demolition for the project and be, is beginning to do foundation work. And um, as a result of really digging deeper into the plan process and doing some value engineering, uh, they have uh, come up with a number of different um, items that would help save them uh, money in the construction process and just uh, in some things that would just make the project a little easier to build. And so we asked them to come forward with their laundry list of changes. Um, there are a number of changes. Uh, some of them are very, very minor. Some of them are a little less minor. Um, the uh, packet of uh, plans that you have show um, uh, clouding in the areas where uh, changes are being made. Um, there's a, a trellis that was proposed. Um, you want to put that, that one drawing up? Uh, there was a trellis that was proposed from the back of the cafe building over to the tasting, um, the tasting room, and the applicant's proposing to, to uh, remove that. Uh, there are some minor changes to um, the size of the doors, um, the, um, the headers across the doors have been modified, and if you look at uh, the the uh, packet that we were provided and then also um, the overhead this evening um, there are just some minor subtle differences uh, to the front facing fa facade uh, they um, also were looking at standardizing some of the windows they were all they were some that were just a little bit different and so obviously standardizing the windows don't really affect the design too much but at the same time can save them uh, money as they're building um, Probably the, um, the the largest change has to do with the restroom. Um, during their negotiations with uh, potential operators of the cafe, uh, they found that all of the vendors that they were talking to um, needed a little bit more space. And so um, while the cafe had a separate restroom uh, from the bookstore initially, uh, what the applicant would like to do is to change, wasn't, which wasn't required by code, I should say. Um, the applicant um, re requested that we consider allowing them to enlarge the cafe area slightly to make that a little larger for uh, potential operators of the cafe. And um, included as a condition of approval would be that the restroom facility uh, at the bookshop is available to both cafe customers and to um, um, employees at the cafe um, staff doesn't really have any problem with that as long as there's a condition of approval about how uh, that area will be used um, that the, it will have to be available for the same hours as the, as the cafe is open and a key would have to be provided and proper maintenance would be maintained by the by the bookstore um, there is one other item that we're just bringing to your attention, and I think the applicant is going to speak to it during their presentation. Uh, the material samples, uh, the, the revised material samples are shown over here at the table, um, and the, they're proposing to use granite crete instead of what was originally proposed. It actually has superior um, infiltration qualities. So from a perspective of staff, um, 
We don't have a problem with them swapping out the material. The color is a little bit gold um, compared to the what was approved in the color palette. It won't be visible from the street, but it will be a fairly large amount of um, area in the parking lot. Um, the applicant has told me that that material does weather and changes color and lightens up significantly, and I think they maybe have some pictures to show you what that will actually look like. But with all of um, the, the changes, staff is, uh, is recommending approval with the, uh, the change in conditions regarding the restroom. And um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Excellent. Any questions for staff? There was just one other thing I wanted to clarify in the staff report. Cut and paste can be a very good tool. It can be a very bad tool. Um, the, uh, we had a call from one of the neighbors that was concerned that the trash enclosure was back on the south side of the of the uh, project and it actually got moved to the north side during the approval process and when I cut and pasted from the old staff report I didn't get north changed so that is a typo in the staff report. Thank you. Any questions for staff? Not at this time. Uh, just one um, with the restroom being eliminated from the cafe I assume there's still sinks and things in the cafe right? Okay. That's it. Great. We will go to uh, public comment, and starting with the applicant, if you would like to speak. Sure. Um, my name is James Stewart. I think I've met some of you before. Um, I'm representing my family. My brother-in-law is also here. Um, our architects were actually supposed to be here to present, and they got stuck in a really bad accident on the, uh, not them in the accident, but the behind one on the way here. So. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of disservice to what they had to say today, but I will do my best with my lack of an engineering or architect's degree. Um, so uh, yes, the changes are relatively straightforward. Um, I think there's one thing about the, the bathroom, for instance, in the cafe. Um, staff has actually directed this to uh, many people in the community that are interested in working with us in the cafe and um, all of them have commented that you know yeah we, we do need a little more room back there um, so what we've done is uh, you know remove that bathroom and made it so that the bathroom that's in the main tasting building uh, not in the bookstore the it's the bathroom in the main tasting, tasting building yes. oh it's okay um, is now accessible so uh, in the past we were sort of concerned that um, you know, in the hours that the tasting room is not open, people would be able to wander into the into the main tasting building and back of house if we didn't sort of close off access to those other areas. Um, what we've now done is made the vestibule for those two bathrooms that are in the main tasting building um, access. They've always been accessible from the outside, but we're now able to to shut them off from the main tasting building and back of house and then everyone on the property would be provided with a key to that area so that even if the main tasting building and back of house are not open um, the cafe would have full access to that building through working hours um, so uh, so that's that is are there any questions about that the access component of that okay um, and then the granite crete here this is it right? yeah that's okay. it yeah <laughs> so um, it's, it's been used in a lot of parks in San Francisco. That's kind of how we encountered it. Um, it does patina over time. So, uh, and then also we've been told by the supplier that you can actually um, change the pigment as it's being uh, sort of processed for use. So we can tweak the color on it as needed um, before installation. Um, Chris Canny, who's from Arcanum Architect, he's on his way up here. I think he has a sample. Hopefully he'll be here with it before the end. Sorry, he's not. Um, but basically, it's way more pervious than sunset pavers. <clears throat> There's been some concern about, um, you know, very large uh, hardscape surfaces that don't have any permeability, which is why we started using sunset pavers. Um, I also believe that this paver here um, is what was going to be used in just a thicker format. So um, now, rather than just having water being able to get between the grooves and the sand and the pavers now the entire surface will be permeable um, which i think is probably ultimately better um, it is a value engineering choice as well they just sort of happen to coincide and be beneficial in both areas um, let's see here uh, doors and windows so um, you know, when you design things and you go back and look at them later, you're sort of like, well, this doesn't make any sense. Like, you know, these 
shouldn't uniformity be like better and more visually appealing and so we made those changes um, we are at the point in the process where we need to order doors um, so that's uh, why we're bringing it to you guys now so that we can sort of you know order doors and windows so they can be installed in December through March um, and then in terms of the trellis um, we found that the trellis itself sort of cut the the view in half you know it takes that main tasting building and and basically like sort of interrupts the the line of sight um, so rather than being able to have like this beautiful view of the building from the street now now you see like something blocking your view of that um, and then we decided that if we remove that we would put s some nice trees up beside the door um, that would sort of also soften that so you're not getting just this huge expanse of stone you're, you're having sort of um, you know a tiered element back to the building that the doors will also be able to open um, full length um, so you know if you open them wide open you actually get you know a full view uh, rather than having you know that top window interrupting that as well does that I, I'm not describing it very well but does that make sense mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> um, and then uh, do we need to go over sort of site walls or any of those things no uh, they're, they're listed in the staff report okay. um, and so if the if the board members have any questions um, they can ask you at the end of your presentation so, okay but if you don't you don't have to cover anything all right in your, um, your so I can if you have questions about those other items I'd, I'd be happy to answer areas in which I have limited information and I again I apologize that Arcanum wasn't able to be here right now but uh, so I think that covers did that did I cover everything that was mentioned? yes and you did and you thank you for clarifying oh sure where we made mistakes oh no problem um, any questions of the applicant not this time great no okay thank you thank you and any public comment well Gladys <laughs> we will then uh, go ahead and close public comment and um, turn it to the board for uh, discussion I don't think I was here on June 11, 2013, so... You weren't. Pardon? You weren't. Ah. No, I'm, I'm just saying you weren't. <laughs> I thought you were confirming <laughs> no, my, I wasn't. Shoddy, my shoddy memory. Like, hmm, you were. In any event, so it's difficult for me for the fenestration. The two items I want a little more information about are the fourth and fifth bullet points on your the proposed design review modification. So with the package I have, I'm only seeing the new version. Do you have... Other documents, Nathan, that you can put on the we screen, do. like we were looking at mm -hmm. just now for the uh, trellis. Or you might have done so while you were reading the report, and my nose was buried. If so, I apologize. You, for this, is this the view you want to see, or no? You you want to see what was previously approved? Yes. Okay. Ideally, like what you just did with the uh, permitted and proposed on the trellis elevation, that was tremendously helpful. We have a we, we have some we have some areas that are, are I think there are some that have um, the clouding of the windows right right yeah. and I it's very clear on the application where the revisions are being made but I can't see what was there before okay this was the previously approved plan pulled up on the monitors Just, here yeah but that's not going to help him he wants to see the you want to see the windows and the, the elevation, right? the yes, elevation. Yes. So which which all the windows or are you just talking about the, the front? There, that, that one where the clear the story windows this one that are being removed are on that plan right okay over the front so that's the current that's the currently permitted north elevation is that correct, correct? yes tasty building yes can you pull up the ones that are so yeah. yeah, and I can also and, pull up the ones yeah, that are clouded yeah. if you'd like. Do you want the cloud one? No, though, no, that's okay. Thank okay. you. I'm I'm seeing those at the same time. Okay, thank you. That's and I think the reading room was probably the other one with the most significant changes to the fenestration. These are big files, so it takes a second to pull everything up. Right. Okay. It doesn't appear if this plan has the reading room on it. We're at the cafe in the tasting room east. Let's see. It's the 
Well, in the reading room, just the sizes of those windows were slightly changed, slightly right? Changed. And a window was changed to a door. Mm -hmm. So they weren't dramatic changes like removal of the clear story windows. Yeah. So this is the proposed one, the revised. No, but that's, that's not, the previous. The, that doesn't have the clouding on it. That was the first iteration because one of those windows was changed to a door. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's a, yeah. Now there's a door for back to house. Right. Okay. Yeah. Can you leave that one open there? There it is. There it is. Oh yeah, they're back to back yeah. pages. Yeah, so, yeah, so there we go. Back. So you can sc scroll between the two. That's permitted. What th that Whoop. Go, Proposed. Go back. Permitted. That's, that's what I have what's in the permitted, and this is what's changed. Okay, you've answered my question. Thank you. Those are longer, and there's the door. Okay. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Quite all right. I think we're still in discussion as the board. If anyone has any comments? No, I think all the changes look very logical. I kind of like the trellis, but I can understand why you got rid of it. I take no exception. Nor do I. Could I ask for a motion then? With the condition of the bathroom as a, we have I believe, to do I believe all there the was changes, a right? all ten as changes. Con yeah. conditions as presented. Excuse me, I knew that she called out that specifically. So, um, I'll give it a try. Let me know. <laughs> um, I'd like to propose a motion that we accept um, the design review modifications as presented. Is that enough? Yes. Can I get a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. That was easy. You made that harder than that. <laughs> I know. They were going to take the board, so I don't know if you want to take it for them. Yeah, sure. That's good. Okay. Yeah. It weighs a million pounds. You might need both of you. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, those are big. And, and some of them Hi. are loose, so just be yeah, careful. Be careful. They are all loose. glued to the board. Yeah. 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 Some are a little bit more. So is, is this ours? This no, that's something else. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. So we will now move on to agenda item number nine, which is a presentation and discussion. Which I don't believe there are any. Nothing there. Okay. And uh, anything from staff and board uh, to report? Uh, just for our next uh, ZDRB meeting, our July meeting, we have one item currently scheduled. Um, and then following that, I know a number of you have terms expiring. Wanted to just remind everyone but it doesn't expire before next meeting. You yes. have one more meeting after this one. So okay. it's cleverly scheduled that the term expires on the 16th and the meeting is on the 14th. <laughs> so Good. it's very important Good. that we have attendance. Um, I'm also passing around these notices of vacancy um, for you to share with friends, families, enemies. Um, anyone? Enemies. Can you no enemies. Speak to who's... I, I know I heard my term was coming to an end. Yes, yes. both Jason Scoggins and Jason Janes have their uh -oh. terms yeah. expiring. I hadn't thought about it. I didn't realize it was coming. So there, the there's a new process. It's an online process. Um, and the, I think the flyer talks a little bit about how you do the application, but you actually fill it out online. And similar, similar to what was uh, through the council packet, there will, there will be a little more transparency um, for the public to see who's being uh, nominated uh, or who's putting their hat in the, for the consideration by the town council, and then the town council will do the re the same kind of interview process they've done before. So now you, it, the application period is open now, so we encourage anyone to apply or reapply. Um, application submittal deadline is July twentieth at five p.m. So if you're getting your applications in or have 
acquaintances that are, please notify them that the submittal deadline is July 20th at 5 p.m. Have there, any been, have there been any applicants? Not um, so far. There haven't been any official applications We've been talking submitted to some people, yet, so that's there's been, been, it's been interested. been good. There's been some interest, so. Okay. Hopefully it will be somebody well, with you decide if you're going to. some experience that ship who can has step sailed. in and help us. Jason, you're considering. It's definitely on the table. <laughs> and and then, then the election of a chair and vice chair will occur during the August meeting um, once we have five full people. Yes. It's going to be you and me, honey. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We're the experienced ones. <laughs> you guys, yeah, you're going to be long in the tooth here. And then just to, just to give you a summary of what, what's been happening outside your purview, um, the town council considered the RH project um, at their last meeting, um, and the applicant took a lot of the comments that you had to heart um, and uh, reduced the size of the building by about a foot and a half, um, moved it back from the sidewalk, um, lowered the building a foot and a half. Building. Lowered the building a foot and a half, and um, um, enlarged the uh, when the the sliding sliding windows in the front to be almost completely transparent. Uh, and so I think that what the what the council said was they appreciated that uh, you guys had weighed in and made some comments, and the applicant did as well. So it was approved by five well, all five members of the town council. Um, so it was a it was a good good meeting. And then at the same meeting, they approve the use permit for the JCB tasting room in the old cornerstone spot in at the whistle stop. So those two projects are moving forward right away. I mean, RH is talking about an expedited plan check process and grading permit first of August. So they're planning on getting moving right away. Um, Nathan had mentioned that we have one item for design review next time. It's for the um, Gates Estates the house that's right behind uh, on Humboldt where the, there was a rezone application and general plan amendment. So they're coming in for design review for that, that project. So that, that will be, at this point, the only item that we have for you guys next month. Uh, and then just two other items because they're planning related that uh, we want to make sure you are aware of. We have two items that are going to be going to the town council on the 7th of July. Um, both of them are use permits. Did I say? What did we I say? Have one in July, which is the chaos collection, and then we have the oh yeah, second that's right. In July are those two? That's true. That's right. Um, yeah. So Karen has a her proposal before the town council for for use permit at the the uh, the next meeting, and I guess it's the sixteenth. Right? Be July seventh would be that one. And okay. July twenty first. No, is no, no. Yours. She's going next. Next yes. Tuesday. She's going next Tuesday. No, you're right. June. Yeah. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or I'll be in France. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, June 16th. Yeah, is so that, her application is going to the council. And then, uh, and then we have two uh, items on the 7th. One of them is for um, a gourmet food truck in the back parking lot of Ad Hoc when they're closed. Oh. Uh, and then um, also a spot in the Summerston that where the yes. Tucker's Larder was proposed we have a use permit application nice. that may be going then it's right now it's on the on the fence whether or not we'll get everything <laughs> done in time and then um, just one other thing that was it's not related necessarily to um, you know involvement that you guys have had but it will affect projects that are, will be before your board uh, in April we had a discussion item before the town council about putting product project signage um, as part of our public notification process um, be, uh, for proposed projects, in other words, putting as you know, as most people do, put a, a physical sign up in front of a building or in front of a vacant lot with what's being proposed to draw people's attention that something's happening on the site. And so there was a discussion on it before the council, and the council decided they wanted to limit that to commercial sites only, that they were concerned about sign clutter in residential areas. So we are bringing that item back for adoption introduction of an ordinance next Tuesday uh, before the town council. And um, so we'll see if that moves ahead at that point. Yeah. So it would, just a, it would apply. Pod. Oh, yeah, that's there, right. There's also an ordinance being brought. Um, it's just a very planning um, town council meeting next week. Yeah. Uh, there's also consideration of a, an ordinance that would limit um, storage pods and dumpsters and other 
um, mm. things like that showing up on driveways for extended periods of time. It limits it to a you know a confined period of time to allow people to you know use them for storage uh, of of for material moving for moving and that sort of thing, and then they have to be removed. We've we've had a few of those start to pop up, so we have an ordinance reason to address that. So um, we can talk some more if you all want. No, well, but or we could all go home because <laughs> yeah. I think Karen wants to have dinner with her her brother. Just out of so. curiosity, is it public dinner? knowledge for who is potentially going to be going into um, trying to get into the Summerston space? Do we, I'm sorry. Is that public? Not is that public um, knowledge for people to know? It, it will be. Candidate? It will be known. But it has not been submitted yet. It, it, it has it's been, been submitted. submitted. It oh, just it hasn't been publicly noticed yeah. yet, ah, which okay. you will be verified yeah. when it is. And is the notified when it is? A den, I think you said addendum. The parking lot. Correct. Behind ad hoc. Is that a Thomas Keller food truck? Or it's actually a, one of his em, um, employees who's spun off. Um, actually, I think he worked bottle, bottle rocket. So. Um, <laughs> He's uh, he's got uh, a um, a proposal, and he's worked with Thomas right. to get approval to use the restrooms and hand washing and so forth. Oh, back there. Wow. And it'll only be open when they're closed, of course. Just simple, similar to what we have with the with the taco truck, left oh. conscious. Do I need okay. to make a motion to or ask to a, for a motion to adjourn? Ask for a motion, yeah, to adjourn. Can I do adjourn? adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.